Hey guys and welcome to Coding for Kids. In this video we are going to be learning about CSS. So in my very first web development video we learned um, about um, we learned like the basics of web development and basically what web development is um, and we kind of talked about CSS but we never learned about the code of CSS and how to do CSS so today we are going to be diving in deep about CSS so let's get started. So first, let's look at the overview of this video. So today we are going to be learning about what is CSS. Then we're going to be learning about the CSS syntax, which is basically just like how to write CSS. Um, then inline, internal, and external CSS. And finally, we're going, to, we're going to be looking at CSS and HTML comments. So let's get started. So what is CSS? So CSS stands for Cascading Style Sheets. I went over this in the very first web development video, um, but it just stands for Cascading Style Sheets. CSS is widely used to design HTML elements. So for example, if we have a um, H1 element or a heading, um, CSS is used to like for example add color to that um, heading um, like to change the text color or to make the text bigger or to make it bolded so that is what we use CSS for it's to add design to HTML elements so HTML CSS and JavaScript are all used for web development so you can see here um, I have a similar picture to what I had when we were learning about web development. So HTML is like the bones, it's like the structure of um, a website. And um, CSS is like the presentation and the design part of um, a website. So that is the difference between HTML and CSS. So now let's look at the CSS syntax. So what is that? So basically it's a CSS, um, I guess you could say code. So a CSS rule will always have a selector and a declaration block. Um, so the selector indicates which HTML element you want to change or design. The design block or the declaration block contains one or more declarations that need to be separated by a semicolon. Curly braces surround the de um, design block or the declar, dec oh my God, declaration block. So, what is the selector? What is the declaration block? What is declaration? What is this stuff? So, selector. For example, let's say we are going to design a paragraph. So, our selector would be a paragraph. That is what we're going to change or design. Our declaration um, is almost like... Um, what what do you want to change specify that what do you want to design or change and usually this declaration block is in curly braces well it's not always or it's not usually it's always in a declaration it's always in curly braces then we have our declaration inside so in a declaration we have a property name and a value and it's usually separated by a colon mark um so our property um tells us what we want to change for example, we want to change the paragraph's color. And what is the value of the property? What color do you want to change it to? So we want to change it to blue. So our so basically this is how understand it like this. We have a paragraph and we want to change the color of it. And we want to change the color to blue. So that is kind of how you can understand it. And usually every declaration is separated by a semicolon. For example, let's say you wanted to make, uh, and let me just think of a good example. Maybe you wanted to change the text size or the font size. Let's say you wanna make your paragraph a little bigger. So you would say um, font size and then colon mark, and then you can put like 20 pixels, 30 pixels. Um, so um, your font size would be the property and then there would be a colon mark and then the value would be like 20 or 30 pixels and then you would put another semicolon and put another declaration so this is the CSS syntax so now let's look at inline internal and external CSS 
So there are three types of CSS. One is inline CSS, and we have actually used inline CSS before. Um, so this is when you want to apply CSS to only one line or one element. So most of the times, you might have seen this in my previous videos, sometimes I might be like the body, um, I'll put like body inside of the opening body bracket. I sometimes put like body, and then style equal to background color uh, pink or something. So I wanna, I'd usually do that to change the background color. So this inline CSS um, is only to one line or element. So usually I'll only do that to one line. It won't be like multiple elements. You can't do that. But you can do that with internal CSS. So internal CSS applies CSS to one single um, HTML page. Um, so it is defined inside the style tag in the um, head section so um, that is internal CSS so we do that inside the HTML document um, inside of the style tag so we're still um, doing the it inside of the HTML document and you'll get this a little bit more when I actually go over the code um, and when you see the next slide you'll get it a little bit more external CSS is used to apply CSS on multiple or all pages in a HTML document so for example if you're making a website um, and you want to apply CSS to all of them you would just um, use external CSS. We write the CSS code in a .css file. So instead of a HTML page, we would use a CSS file. Uh, for example, let's use the name style.css, which is a very common name um, that you can use, like name your CSS files um, to write our CSS code in. We also need to link this file. So you want to, uh, to link this file, why do we need to link this file? So when we link this file our HTML page will know oh we're doing CSS in this other document otherwise your HTML page won't know and it won't change the design and you'll just it won't work so you need to link it for it to work so um, usually in code.org which is the editor we're gonna use always um, it'll already have this um, in in um, code.org but still you kind of want to memorize it so link and then one attribute is rel and it's a relationship and that equals to style sheets because cascading style sheets so style sheet type is text slash css and the href or the link is just the document or the file name for example um ours is style.css so this is inline internal and external css on the next slide you'll kind of see some examples so we always do this um you can see like for example sometimes we put body and then background color equal to um i don't know like blue or something so we always most of the time we use inline css but we're also going to be using internal css a lot and external css so you can see in internal CSS, um, we have our head, and then inside we have our style tag. Just don't care about this um, part. And then we have our CSS um, code. And you can see the curly braces, the colon, um, the, val the property, and the value. And also our semicolon. And then external CSS, um, this is just how to link it. So you can see right here, we are linking it. So yeah, so that is in, um, inline, internal, and external CSS. And you can also see the types of CSS. So now let's look at CSS and HTML comments. So comments are generally used to explain your code, or you can make little notes to yourself um, to look at in the future. It is helpful for others when they look at your code, because for example, sometimes you have big chunks of code or you have lots of code and you need other people to kind of understand your code. So comments help a lot with that. So comments are ignored by the browsers. Comments like browsers don't care Care about comments as long as you do these so for a CSS comment in a CSS file you'll put a slash and then an asterisk mark and then you'll put your comment in and then you'll put another asterisk mark and a slash so this is a CSS comment a HTML comment is in an angular bracket like always and then you would put a exclamation mark two dashes and then whatever your comment is in the middle and then two dashes
notches and another angular bracket. So you can see right here, a single line common is when you write a common in one line. A multi-line common is when you put it in multiple lines and then this is a HTML common. So yeah, so that is CSS and HTML commons. So now let's do some coding. This is probably everyone's favorite part. So let's go to code.org and click on the web lab. Now let's do some CSS coding. So I am just gonna hop over to my um, web lab. I am gonna do the coding with you guys cause there isn't much to do. It's not like we're creating a big thing. It's just the basics. So I am gonna do it with you guys. So I'm just gonna switch over and let's do some CSS. So guys, we are in our um, little document, I guess, or in the index.html um, page. So you can see right here, I already typed out everything. So in um, code.org, it already does give you the link, um, but it doesn't put the type in, um, and that is kind of annoying. So all you are gonna always need to put uh, text slash CSS, in um you're gonna always need to do that in code.org but that's okay we don't need to type everything else so this is your link okay uh so this will be helpful when doing external css but first um i created a heading and i also created a little paragraph so let's add some css to this so first let's style our heading so first we're gonna use inline css so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put style and then equal to uh, color. And then we're gonna put a little colon. And then let's put some uh, color. Um, I'll put pink, okay? And you can see right here, it changes the color to pink. Um, we can also put purple or any other color that we want. I'll just put purple for now. So that is um, how you put inline CSS. And what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna add a comment so in the future if i look i'll know oh this is inline css so i'm just gonna add oops um i'm just gonna add a uh, html comment so okay and then this is um inline css and then two dashes and then ta -da. so yeah so now we have our comment and i'm just gonna put this on the next line oopsie daisies okay okay well okay good so this is inline css so in the future if i look i'll know this is inline css so now let's add um some um internal css so what we're gonna do is we're gonna add our style um i guess yeah tag so what we're gonna do we're gonna add it here and then we're gonna add a little space and then inside um we're gonna add some css for example let's say we want to change the paragraph color so we're gonna add p as our selector and then inside the curly braces we're gonna add our declaration block so we're gonna put color as our um as our uh, property name, and then we're gonna put a colon to separate it, and then we're gonna put a um, any color as our um, as our value. <laughs> I was kind of confused for a second, so I'm just gonna put a light. Let's see, let's put a light, or let's put a. Hmm, thinking what we can do, I think we'll do a out of these. I think I like the deep pink the most. Okay, so you can see our text color changed to um, to a deep pink color. <laughs> so um, you can see, even if we're not gonna add another um, declaration, you still always wanna put a semicolon just because it's always good to put a semicolon. So this is one um, CSS um rule or code so you can see right here so now let's change our background color so um we are going to use external css to change our background color so what we're going to be doing is we already linked it so we're going to go to this um style.css file and then there is a lot of this stuff here we're good we're gonna delete this um p and h1 because we already done that but for our body what we're going to be doing is um we're just gonna 
put this in one line so you guys kind of understand. So now we have our background color and um, you can see right here and then we can change the background color right now it's white um we'll change it to a blue color um blue um ooh, that yeah let's see which blues are good ooh, let's do this powder blue so you can see right here it changes to that powder blue so um this is external css when you're doing css outside of that um, html document but ever whatever you do all of it works um everyone has a certain preference my personal preference would definitely be the um internal css but i know so many people who love to use external css um so it just depends on your preference but yeah so i'm gonna get back to the slideshow and let's just finish off the video and look at what we've done for today so um i'm just gonna um go over to the slideshow so guys let's just review really quickly so we learned what is css we also learned the css code or syntax and um, then we learned about inline internal and external css and finally we learned about css and html comments so guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe like share this video and also click the notification bell so you'll be notified every time i make a new video so yeah thanks for watching coding for kids and i'll see you guys next time bye guys